In this video, I'm going to address binocular vision dysfunction and vertical heterophoria, hopefully in easy language that makes sense. Hi, I'm Dr. Moshe Roth. I'm a developmental optometrist, board certified in vision development and vision therapy. We see a slightly different picture from each eye. Our brain then compares these two different images and puts them together so that we can see in depth in that third dimension. We also need to be able to easily track across a page in order to read text. Binocular vision is the ability to use the two eyes together as a team, much as somebody might look through a pair of binoculars. Binocular vision dysfunction means that that person doesn't have that ability. What is vertical heterophoria? Vertical heterophoria means that the line of sight from one eye is higher than the line of sight from the other eye. If the two eyes don't line up together, either horizontally, side to side, or vertically, up and down, it's hard to put the two different pictures together in order to see one unified image. It's then difficult to see things in depth or to track an object that's moving, like watching a football being thrown or tracking across a line of print when we read. If someone can't line up their eyes easily, then they use even more effort to do that. And then there's not enough energy left over to understand what they just read. So they may have poor reading comprehension. What are the symptoms of binocular vision dysfunction or vertical heterophoria? That extra energy that they have to expend just to hold the images together causes headaches. People with binocular vision dysfunction often have vertigo and feel dizzy because there's a mismatch between the visual system, what they see, and the vestibular system, the balance system that's in the inner ear. Individuals with binocular vision dysfunction may have balance problems, may be clumsy, or feel motion sickness or become nauseous. If someone has had a concussion, a brain injury, or a stroke, that can bring on binocular vision dysfunction, especially if they had a fragile system to begin with. People then complain of brain fog or eye fog. Binocular vision dysfunction leads to reading and learning related problems. Most people who have these problems are not aware that the reason for their symptoms stems from a problem in the visual system. Why does this happen? There are six muscles that move each eye. Two of the muscles move the eyes from side to side horizontally. And four of the six muscles move the eyes up and down vertically. So you have 12 muscles all together that all need to work in sync for the two eyes to line up properly. The brain has to put the picture from each eye together and line them up to make one picture. If the two eyes don't line up perfectly, then the picture from each eye doesn't come together to make one picture inside the brain. If one eye points up relative to the other, then it's common for people to then tilt their head to try to realign their eyes. Doing so for a long while can lead to a pain in the neck, literally, and headaches. We constantly have to move our eyes. Objects are, not, are obviously not always in the straight ahead position, as this might be tested in the examination chair at the eye doctor's office. Our brain must constantly adjust the signal sent to our eyes depending on where our head position is. For example, if you're lying down while watching TV. And whether the object we're looking at is directly in front of us or they're to the side or above or below. You can see where my pen is pointing. If I'm trying to look to the side, I have to move my right eye a little bit out, but my left eye has to turn in a whole lot more. What can we do about this? So what can we do to solve binocular vision dysfunction and vertical heterophoria? PRISM 
prescribed in eyeglasses may be a first step and may give short-term relief, but at times the prism alone does not solve the problem. The reason for that is that the prism compensates. It doesn't correct. Vision therapy enables people who have misalignment of the two eyes to develop the visual skills necessary to align their two eyes. Prism alone is like giving somebody a pair of crutches after they've broken their foot. The crutches compensate and enables the person to start to hobble around, but that person may need physical therapy to get back to where they want to be. The visual system is the most important way we bring in information, whether we're reading or working on a computer or driving a car. And that's why it's so important to repair the visual system, because if we don't, then the symptoms often persist. Once this ability is gained or regained, the problem is solved. Eyeglasses alone can't solve a problem of the two eyes being out of alignment because what do eyeglasses do? They just focus light onto the back part of the eye, even when there's some prism that's incorporated into the eyeglasses. Where does vision really happen? Is it in the eyes or in the brain? The brain analyzes visual information that comes in. That's called afferent and then controls where we point our eyes. That's called efferent. When there's a misalignment, some eye surgeons recommend eye muscle surgery. Unfortunately, surgery can often make the problem worse. The brain, and not the eye muscles, is where we bring the picture from the, each eye together. Surgery rarely solves the problem because it doesn't address visual processing or making sense of what we're seeing. Vision therapy addresses the visual processing that happens in the brain. Once someone learns the visual skills of where to point their eyes, how to use their two eyes together as a team, how to move their eyes and how to hold it there, then they sustain those skills. It's, it's similar to learning how to ride a bicycle or driving a car. Once somebody has learned the skill, they retain the skill, even if they haven't done so for years and years. I hope I've given you some valuable information that have helped simplify a complex issue. We're just hitting some of the highlights in this video. A combined system of vision therapy, PRISM, and syntonic phototherapy are often needed to help someone gain or regain the ability to use the two eyes together as a team. Please consider calling our office at 732-679-2020 and scheduling for an examination. I'd be happy to help. I'm Dr. Moshe Roth. I'm a developmental optometrist, board certified in vision development and vision therapy.